Hello there, this is Ben Fournier, and here's more Secret Files Tunguska. Going to try to actually win the game eventually, but uh, for now it's mostly getting all the puzzles done, of which they are extremely arbitrary. So, yeah, I have part of a walkthrough that I looked up, so I'm gonna go back up here and deal with the um, diadem puzzle thing. So we need to get, we already got the plant here, right? We have aloe vera something, right, somewhere, or do we? An aloe vera plant for skin after 40. I thought that was something we already had. Did I? The inside of the dish is somewhat porous. Okay. Well, doesn't seem like we can actually get that right now then. I thought I got it before. Okay, we're supposed to use the porcelain bowl on the radiator to get water, though. So, something like that somewhere. Yeah, it's going to be filled with Oops. water. Maybe I shouldn't have opened the valve that far. A load of water has come out. Okay, so now that it has water there. You can use the plant outside Max's room to get a piece of plant. Really? Combine the cement bag with the porcelain bowl with water. So we need the cement bag with the bowl. So now we have that. <sighs> Combine the porcelain bowl with water and cement. What? Okay, com combine the cement bag with the porcelain bowl with the water. Combine the porcelain bowl with the water and the cement with the piece of plat to make putty in the bowl. Okay, we don't seem to have the piece of plant. Alrighty then, that's lovely. Gonna try to go back out there, maybe get closer to the plant. Get over here. I must have gotten the plant before. I don't have a clue what I use it on though. An aloe vera plant. For skin after 40. Well, great. Can we use that with that? Nope, we can't. Okay, maybe the walkthrough was wrong. Let's see. Combine the porcelain bowl with a piece of plant to make putty. The putty is ready for use. Okay, so the putty is already ready. Okay, walk to the east. Walk east to the hall. Combine the diadem with the putty and the porcelain bowl. Uh, this is a dial. I hope I know what I'm doing. That diadem has now been robbed of any beauty it once had. Yeah, lovely. Okay. So now, can I walk east to the hall? This is the hall thing, right? To the hall. Alright, to the hall. Okay, and... Combine the diadem with the putty and the porcelain bowl. Combine the sunglasses with the yellow shard to make the green shard. Okay. I've laid both lenses over each other. They now have a green shimmer. Wonderful. Uh, combine the acid bottle with the flask. Acid bottle with the flask. All right. Use the flask with acid on the piece of rock to get the amethyst. I'll put the stone into the acid and see how it reacts. The acid is doing its work admirably. The stone is beginning to corrode. I'll have to take it out of the acid at the right moment. Otherwise, the inclusion will go the same way as the rest of the stone. What? Uh, did we do that automatically? I guess we got the amethyst, so... Okay, that was her being... About that. Combined... Okay. We got the amethyst. Combine the red glass bead, the green shard, and the amethyst on the diadem. So all three of these things. Yes. That should hold. Yay. Great! It fits! And you. I hope that thing is in the right position. As soon as the putty has dried, I'll only be able to get it off with brute force. 
Okay, so now we have that. What? Okay, use the diadem on the lamp at the right side. Okay, that's the lamp there. It brings a little illumination into the darkness. That is what it does. Okay, so... Now there's... Whether I'll get any brighter? Wow, it works! And there's the map there. Let's see there. Look at the plan to reveal that room 8 is highlighted by invisible ink on the map. Somebody seems to have marked one of the rooms with invisible ink, and it has just been revealed by the colored light beam. I have no idea where this room 8 is located exactly because there's no map key. Although, it seems to be one of the rooms that are being renovated. Okay. Exit the view to talk to Max. Ask about Tunguska. He adds two articles to Nina's diary. Ask about room 8. The room is being renovated. End the discussion to go to Max's room. Alright, so he's here already. Wow, not bad. I only go away for a few minutes and you transform the museum into a light show. Oh, I... I'm sorry, but... That's okay. But what is all this stuff and what does it mean? I don't exactly so know eight. either. But if this riddle really comes from my father, then he must have had an extremely good reason for the whole effort. Have you found anything out yet? I'm still working on it. And you? Okay. Well, let's ask him about Tunguska first. Is there anything new on the subject of Tunguska? Not a lot. Here, I found these two articles. Alright, and room number the eight. The light beam has changed the color of the escape plan on the wall. A room with the number eight seems to be highlighted. Is that one of the rooms that is currently being renovated? Yes, and they've been renovating it for ages. The complete substance of this house is, unfortunately, no longer the best, and the workers are having a lot of problems completing the job. Because Was of all there the hamsters. anything special in that room? Well, hamsters. No, not really. All of the exhibits from that room are currently stored in my office. Are you looking for something specific? If only I knew. We can go straight to my office. Maybe you'll find something there to help you out. Okay. Well, let's do that then. Come on into my office and we'll have a look at the exhibits from room 8. Okay. Have a look around. All these things are out of the room that's being renovated. Alright, so... Let's see here. I think it's that. Let's look at all this stuff first. A vase from the Ming Dynasty. I broke one like this when I was a kid. Wow. That could be an antique. Unfortunately, that's about all I can say about it. Looks old. It looks ancient. Although I saw one like these in some Swedish furniture store only last week. I think this one, however, is ancient. Just maybe. Okay, so look at the relief disc and get the coin. Let's see, where the heck's the coin? That would be the coin there. I think that must be some sort of calendar. But how to read it is what I don't know. Base 20 if it's... Oh, whatever. A rider? I always thought the Aztecs didn't have horses. Stranger and stranger. Yep. That thing has obviously just been set in there. It doesn't belong to the relief disc. Dun dun dun. Oh, and the joy of the coin puzzle finally. Which is especially a thing for Sudoku fans, but I'm going to do the walkthrough thing. But yeah, relief to his exit the view and exit the room. Enter Nina's room, or her father's room anyway there for the game. Uh, look at the coin showcase on, at the left side of the room. Use the coin on the empty compartment. The coins are currently separated into rows of very big, small, medium, and big. Alright, so yeah, we gotta go there and do the Sudoku type puzzle. Making it so there's no things in the row. But, uh, yeah. I, I think there's actually a picture of how to put it, but I don't know what that looks like exactly. 
So we're going to just do this. I mean, that would be an easy way to look it up, but okay. So on the first row, arrange the coins from left to right into small, very big, medium, and big. Small. So the smallest would be that. I don't want to take it along. And oh, besides, I don't have the foggiest idea what I should do with it. Oh, my word. Okay. I don't want to take it along. And besides, I don't have the foggiest idea what I should do with it. I got that thing out of the Aztec relief disc in Max's office. I have no idea whether it is a metal or a coin or what. But the horseman looks like a skeleton. The coin seems to complete the set. The note says, and the prince said to the princess, whether vertical, horizontal, or in both main diagonals, make sure that there is never a repeat within a line. Hmm. Okay, Does I... Does that have something to do with the coins? Yeah, no kidding. Use the coin on the empty compartment. The coins are currently separated into those rows. On the first row, arrange. Finally, can we? Oh, finally. Good. Oh, my word. Okay, can you go there? Okay, we can arrange them now. So small. Is that small? Okay, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is this? Rows or columns? The coins are currently separated into rows of very big... Okay, so this was there. Okay, very big. Small. So those are the small ones. Medium and big. So that's what they're calling. Small, medium, big, and very big. So we need to have... On the first row, and this is a row... This is a column, okay? Oh my word. Sorry that I'm so stupid, but anyway. First row, arrange the coins from left to right into small, very big, so that one stays, medium, so a medium one would go there, and big, right? So that one goes there. On the second row, big, okay, medium, very big, and small, by default that is, already. Third row, very big. Small is already there. Big. Okay, good. Oops, that opened up a trap door. Of doom. It appears to be some kind of secret compartment. See, what speaking did my telepathically. Need one wow. for? It contains documents. Yay. It has to do with my father's research expeditions. It's written here that in 1958, he was the leader of a secret expedition into the Tunguska region. Apparently after the 1958 expedition, someone in the highest position tried to keep the results secret. It has to do with some strange plant growth. Daddy wanted to continue his research, but all further investigations were prohibited. Then apparently he did travel to the region again himself only in the company of a certain Manuel Perez and a local guide. That was in 1977. If I understand this correctly, a lot went wrong on this expedition. Something awful happened to Perez, and both of them were arrested. My father has not been able to find out what exactly happened to him that night, and Perez disappeared without a trace from that time forward. Daddy writes later that here at the latest, he should have realized that human life is always more important than research. What does he mean? Maybe I should ask Max. He'd be able to help me with all the formulae and explain the scientific expressions. And this is a letter from some society in Ireland. But these are just empty pages? I definitely need help. Maybe Max knows something about it all. Sorry, I still don't have anything. 
But I... How that is connected with my father's disappearance, I don't yet know. But I have found some of his records in a secret compartment. They describe a secret expedition and some very strange events and... Hey, slow down. I can't follow you that quickly. The best thing to do would be to come with me to my father's office. I'll show you the records and then we should perhaps have a look at his filing cabinet. Okay, let's go. And detective idiots there, I right? told you that I didn't want to see you here again. What's Believe with the me, gun, dude? It really would have been better if you'd kept out of it. Now I have no other choice but to... Ah! Extra crunchy. Ola Kambersky? Looks like I came just in time. Are you okay? Yes, I think so. What did the detective want from us anyway? Did he want to shoot us? Well, he probably doesn't have his weapon trained on you just for the fun of it. I we should. should get away from here before this guy wakes up. Okay. I'm sorry that I was so unfriendly when we first met. For some time now, I've had the feeling that I'm being pursued. And my nerves are shot right now. Of course I know your father. To be precise, I have known him for a very long time. And I know him very well. I was with him on one of his expeditions back then. We were in the Tunguska region back then, together with the Cuban Manuel Perez, an Irish biologist whose name I can't recall at the moment, and some assistants. I don't want to get into details regarding the events of the past, but for some reason, someone appears to be very interested right now. I have the feeling that not only your father, but I as well am in danger, and possibly all members of that past expedition still living. Of course, I can't prove it, but if I'm not mistaken, the Russian Secret Service, FSB, could be behind it. They already tried back then to prevent us, and your father in particular, from undertaking further expeditions. You know about your mother? My mother? Why? What does she have to do with anything? You know that she died in an accident? Yes, but... It is rather questionable whether it really was an accident. You were in the car as well. I was driving behind you when the car suddenly crashed through a bridge railing and plunged into a river. I was barely able to get you out of there. But when I tried to save your mother, two of my fingers were torn off. Therefore... Daddy never told me anything about that. I'm certain he tried not to burden you with that as well. The two of us have already reproached ourselves enough. But enough about the past. Now we have to find your father again. Due to the events of the last few days, I activated a few of my contacts. One of them is Sergei, who is moving in circles which... Well, I'd rather not be found anywhere near them. But he knows just about everything that no one is actually supposed to know. According to his information, a research station was built in the Tunguska region decades ago. And now, another transport is planned to go there. Supposedly, not all the scientists who are to be transported there are participating voluntarily. This research Fine. trip and the disappearance of your dad a few days before its start could very well be linked. Does that mean my father was kidnapped and is now sitting on a train to Siberia? What do they want from him? Even if, officially, he hasn't been active in research for years, he is still an expert in his field. I am sure that Sergei could help us. I have to go to Moscow? I have an airplane. We could be there in a few hours. I know this is all quite a lot to swallow at once, but if your dad is really on that train, we have no time to lose. As soon as he reaches the Tunguska region, we'll barely be able to get him out again. The area around the station is too heavily guarded. What do you mean? I don't know, but maybe it is the only chance. So let's go. It would be good if someone stayed behind, in case Vladimir does get in touch after all. But... <sighs> Nina, we should go if we want another chance to get there before the train leaves. I suppose I could have another look at your father's records, but I don't have a good feeling. Great. Then, let's go. Take good care of yourself, okay? I'll do my very best. I wish I could. Yes, me too. Good luck.
plane makes me think oh, of Tailspin. Oh, didn't tell me you were such a beauty. If I had known that, my price would have gone down. Yes, I'm happy to see you too. You can help me in the search for my father? Sergei can do a lot of things. Some say Sergei can do everything. But Sergei is modest, so let's just stick with Sergei can do almost everything. Yes, yes. Modesty honors you. What can I do for you? I thought you knew that. Sure. But Sergei needs all the information again firsthand. And looking at your mouth and your moving lips. Are you going to help me or just gawk? How does the saying go? One hand washes the other. Okay. So, my father has disappeared. I only wanted to meet him in the museum where he worked. And as I arrived... Yeah, yeah. Sergei knows that. Then what do you want to know? What did your father do in the last few weeks? What was he working on? Who was he working for? Oh, quite honestly, I have no idea. I have never really spoken to my father to any extent about his work. He tends to hold hour-long lectures about scientific things, and after a few minutes, I tend to fall half asleep. Then at some time, we agreed to leave the subject of work out of our conversations. Not good. Really not good. Yes, I know. But it doesn't matter now anyway. But again, I really don't know what it was or for who he has been working for recently. Besides his work for the museum, he still held lectures and prepared reports. But I can't be any more exact than that. All I know is that in the last few days, he seemed a bit unconcentrated, as if he was especially concerned with something. But what that was? That gets us nowhere. A couple of birdies told me in the last few days that another train is leaving for the Tunguska region today. It has to do with some kind of scientific experiments. What kind exactly, I don't know. But it's not important now. In any case, a few old friends have been reactivated. Old friends? Reactivated? Scientists and people who know the area who were in the Tunguska region in the past, they were, well, asked to cooperate. Some came voluntarily. Others had to be persuaded. Ah. Oh. I understand. Good. Be that as it may, your father may be with them. Is he in danger? If he doesn't do anything stupid, he won't have any problems normally. But how are we going to get him out? We aren't going to get him out at all. But as I've already said, Sergei can do almost everything. An old acquaintance is standing at the side entrance of the train station. He'll take you in and give you a pass and a uniform. As soon as you're on board the train, you should be able to find enough time to look around. The guards on board are usually busy drinking and playing cards during the trip. Oh, and by the way, you're traveling under the name Nina Perkova. Your last name could give you away if your father is actually on board. So I get in the train, eliminate all the guards, and free my father. Alone? Great plan. Just great. When you find him, then we'll see how you'll get your father out. Not to worry. Sergei would never leave Sorry such a sweet word. ass hanging. Okay, what that's a relief lovely then. Character. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit marks. nervous about my father. I really am happy that you could help me. Thank you. That's okay, little one. They don't call Sergei the good soul of Moscow for nothing. And don't forget, even if you get information that you don't know what to do with, Sergei can certainly figure it out. Okay, I'll see what I can find out. Okay, so this will be the stopping nice point. We're having, isn't it? Well, no, uh, not yet. Yeah, it's much too nice to sit around out here. Comrade Yushin is taking your shift now. Isn't that nice of him? What? Why? Come with me. Let's chat a bit. So that would have been her contact. It doesn't seem to be my lucky day today. Was that a coincidence, or did they find out that Sergei bribed one of the guards? In any case, I now have a huge problem. Sergei has gone, my cell phone has no signal here, and I have to get onto the train fast. Nina, it's time for a stroke of genius. I need an idea. Okay, 
Now this is the stopping point. Finally, after all the cutscenes. Anyway. And yeah, sorry about the language of the one weird character that's barely phoned in his lines. But anyway, game over man, game over. For the moment anyway. For the moment. So saving, yep, new save game there. And it's nice it does auto save. But uh, yeah, gonna call it a day. That was a whole bunch of stuff. Whoop-de-doo. And we'll figure this out next time.